Chapter 26 of Stories of Don Quixote, written anew for young people. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Stories of Don Quixote, written anew for young people, by James Baldwin. Chapter 26 The Innkeeper of Saragossa. One morning, towards the end of summer, Don Quixote surprised the Duke by calling for his armor and his steed. My Lord Duke, I must away to seek new adventures, he said. I cannot tarry here any longer. But has not your stay with us been agreeable to you? asked the Duke. Why should you wish to leave us? You have indeed been kind, and I thank you for it, answered the knight but it is wrong to linger here among the dainties and delights which you have provided while there are so many things in the world that need doing i shall have to give an account for all these idle days so bidding the duke and duchess a kind farewell he mounted his steed and rode away toward saragossa and sancho on his dappled donkey followed him as before time would fail me to tell of the many happenings on the road they travelled leisurely along making no plans and letting each day and hour take care of itself yet the knight was ever on the alert for some new adventure one evening they arrived at an inn on the outskirts of the city feeling very tired and hungry the innkeeper met them at the door have you lodgings for two weary travellers and their beasts asked sancho yes answered the innkeeper there are no better lodgings in saragossa so they alighted sancho led the beasts to the stable and gave them their food then he returned to the house to wait on his master what have you for supper my good host he asked you may measure your mouth and ask for anything you like said the innkeeper here you will find everything in abundance fowls of the air birds of the earth and fishes of the sea well said sancho if you will roast a couple of chickens for us it will be enough my master eats but little and i am not a glutton i am sorry said the innkeeper but i have not a single chicken left the hawks have carried them all away why then if that is the case you may roast us a duck said sancho a duck sir cried the innkeeper i sent fifty to the market yesterday and there is not another one but aside from ducks and chickens ask for anything you like well said sancho a little veal or boiled kid would taste quite good next week my friend we shall have plenty of both said the host but now we are just out of such meats bring on some fried eggs and bacon then said sancho oh you are a good one at guessing cried the host but i told you that i had neither chickens nor ducks so how can i have eggs oh bother said sancho losing his patience have done with your ramblings mr landlord and tell me just what you have i will do so answered the innkeeper what i really have is nothing more nor less than a pair of cow heels dressed with beans onions and bacon and all these are cooked to a turn and even now crying eat me eat me i set my mark on them this minute said sancho let nobody else touch them nobody else will wish to touch them said the innkeeper for all the other guests are of such quality that they take their cook and their larder with them as for quality cried sancho my master is as good as the best but his profession doesn't allow him to carry a pantry wherever he goes presently the host brought in the kettle and they all sat down to a supper of cow's heel and onions the knight and his squire were used to rough fare and they had learned to take things as they found them they rested well that night and in the morning set forth again upon their travels but now instead of going to saragossa they took another road and journeyed on to barcelona the fame of don quixote had gone before him and at barcelona there were those who gladly received him and entertained him and so they spent some days in that great city looking at its wonders and most of all at the sea which neither of them had ever before beheld end of chapter twenty six